As an RT, you know that patients are at the heart of everything you do. To provide them with the best possible care, it's important to stay current on new technology and the best practices for your discipline. Even the most accomplished technologists need to continually assess and improve their skills. That's why ARRT created a long-term requirement program for maintaining your credentials. Our process is called Continuing Qualifications Requirements, or CQR for short. We created it to identify any gaps in your knowledge, the things that may cause you to fall behind today's certification standards. CQR provides a map for you to address the areas where you show room for growth. But RTs aren't the only healthcare professionals subject to long-term requirements. There are many other caregiver groups who also face these types of programs. As an RT, you'll need to complete CQR every 10 years for each discipline that you've earned on or after January 1st, 2011. The only exception is if you're an RRA, then you must complete CQR every 10 years for your RRA credential, regardless of when you earned it. Any non-RRA credential you earn before January 1st, 2011 will be excluded from CQR. The CQR process has three main steps, the professional profile, the structured self-assessment, and if necessary, prescribed continuing education activities. Your first step, the professional profile, looks a bit like an online survey and takes about 20 minutes to complete. You'll answer questions about the clinical procedures you perform in your job and how often you perform them. When you finish, you'll immediately see a profile summary, which will show you how your experience compares to that of others in your discipline. The chart will show both the breadth and depth of your experience. In other words, how many different procedures you perform from each section and how often you perform them. You'll also have access to a list of clinical refreshers. These online learning activities are optional and free, but can help you brush up on knowledge and skills. The next step in CQR is the Structured Self-Assessment, or SSA. During the SSA, you'll answer questions about the knowledge and skills expected of those entering the profession today. You have two options for taking the SSA. You may complete it at a Pearson View Professional Center, just as you did for your ARRT exam, or you can complete the SSA online at an off-site location, such as your home. If you choose this option, a remote proctor will watch you through a webcam. Keep in mind, the SSA isn't a test. You can't fail it. It simply measures your current knowledge and skills. The final step in CQR is Prescribed Continuing Education, or CE. Not everyone will need to complete this step, but if your SSA revealed areas for additional learning, we'll assign CE that targets those areas. As we mentioned earlier, if CQR applies to you, you'll need to complete the process once every 10 years for each eligible credential. You'll have the last three years of that period to go through the process. We'll let you know through your ARRT online account when it's time to begin. You'll continue to complete and report your biennial CE activities every other year. Just as you've always done, CQR is an additional activity. However, in most cases, you can use the CE activities you complete for CQR to also fulfill your biennial CE requirements. This means you probably won't face costs beyond what you'd normally spend on your biennial CE. At ARRT, we're proud of the work that you do, and you should be too. Think of CQR as a way to refresh your knowledge, build new skills, and add to your professional pride. But don't take our word for it. Listen to what others who've completed CQR say about the process. Alejandro Ramirez tells us, I see it as your professional guide or coach. It gives you a good view of where gaps may exist in your knowledge or experience as compared to others. If you want to be competitive, this will help. But it's really about patient safety, care, and services. Cindy Petrie also adds, I don't think you should ever be offended when you find out you need more education. Anyone in patient care should always strive to do better for a patient and better for an employer, and we should expect that for ourselves. Now that you've learned the basics of the process, 
check out the other CQR video on our website. It's called Continuing Qualifications Requirements. An in-depth look, it goes into more detail on each step of the process. And feel free to spread the word about CQR to your colleagues. Let them know they can learn more about it by visiting ARRT.org forward slash CQR.